Today I'm going to walk you through how to design your very own business card in Adobe Spark Post, so stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how to design your own business cards in Adobe Spark Post. It's a great way to share your brand, your name out there, whether you print them or share them digitally. I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start by clicking on the blue plus sign and choose a custom size graphic. And because we're going to print this out, I'm actually going to change this into inches, which is standard when sending these out to get printed. And normally business cards are three and a half inches wide, but we're going to give it an extra quarter inch. And I'll give you more information on why here in a minute. And then normally they are two inches high, but we're going to go and add an extra quarter as well and click on next. Now, the reason we do that is add that extra space on the side is for bleeding, or I should say the, the safe zone. Whenever you send these out to get printed and cut, they'll cut into actually your project. So you wanna leave everything that's going to be uh, important within the safe zone. And I'll share with you a little file to use to help you with that. And so we're going to start here with bringing in an image. I'm gonna start with the front of the card. So we're gonna actually have to create two separate projects. So this will be the front of the card while I use my image. Actually, let's go ahead and let's use libraries because I've actually created a library with images. I have a selfies folder here. If you use a Creative Cloud, you can actually add these from all different types of apps like uh, Photoshop, Illustrator. You can drop these in and use. I'm going to use this one here as my background. And what I'll do here is add to background so it'll fill the whole background. We're going to adjust the size, bring it up some, maybe about right there. And again, this is going to be the business card, the front, and then I'm going to bring in my logo here. So we're going to go down to logos on the left. And I think it's this one here. Let's see. Let's bring it in a little larger. There we go. I'm going to use that as like my front. And I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, how I want the front to look like. Now I mentioned the safe cut zone or the safe area. You wanna make sure and leave all of the important information. So I'm going to be using this file here. So let's go ahead and find that. I think we'll go back to our libraries. And let's see, design assets. And we're going to use this file here, which is a PNG with some square area or square zones. I'm gonna lay that over the top. And the reason I'm going to do that here is basically to make sure that whatever is in this inner box or this inner rectangle, that is the safe zone. So anything on that line or out is going to be cut. So if you see my ball cap right there is actually in that no safe zone. So what I'm going to do is click undo here for a second and then just grab my image here and just bring it down just a bit. So now I can bring that safe zone template there, just lay it on top and there we go. So I've got my logo within the safe zone and I've got my image within the safe zone. So this is pretty much ready to go. And whenever you send it off to get printed, you wanna make sure and remove that safe zone there. That's basically just for reference. So what I'm going to do here is actually delete that. And now what I'll do is actually click on download and I can export as a PNG to send off to get printed and cut. So we're going to name this project business card. I'm gonna call this A for the front or the first part. And again, Adobe Spark on the web automatically saves your projects. And we're going to click on projects to go back to the, uh, the start zone. And what I can do here is actually just to save me some time is I can click on here and duplicate. And we're going to call this B kind of like old school records. You got the A side and the B side. And I actually noticed that I spelled that wrong. So business card B, I'll go ahead and fix the A here shortly. My next step is to edit the B side. So let me click on the project here and I'm going to remove that image. 
because I want the back of the card, which in this case, this will be the back, to have a clean slate, kind of a blank background. And it's going to actually let my information like contact my email, phone number, all that kind of stuff will be there for people to view. I'm going to actually delete this logo because I'm going to add a color logo. So let's go here to logos and use my main primary logo, which has color. And for this, maybe I'll put it on the upper right side or maybe even fill it all the way. Got different options to do. So we'll do this. And now I'll go ahead and change this background color to white because I do not want that color there. And we'll go to text, add my own. And now here is where I can put my information. Now you can add everything in one text block, but I like doing it separately in case I want to edit different pieces of text. We'll kind of size that out here. Maybe a little bit smaller. Adjust it here. And then I will choose my main font that I use for my logo. And use that there. And then we'll go ahead and make kind of our job easy and click on duplicate. And then do this here. And I'll go in and kind of kind of my information or like what I do, creator youtuber doesn't matter if it's spelled like that because the text is capitalized creator and we'll do photographer so many different titles i have those are among the ones i use we'll adjust this here make this a bit smaller so it'll fit underneath my name there that looks good and if i want Actually, that looks pretty cool. I think I'll leave it like that. So now I will add information like email or let's say I want to add my handles to social media. I can do that as well. So let's go ahead and do my email here and actually add at the front. What I'll do is maybe put an E for email. So that kind of shows that that's my email address and I'll duplicate again and maybe add my handle for social media. So we'll do at audio Zavala Jr. Click on done. And for this, what I'll do here is click on shape. We'll swap out the color. We'll use one of my brand colors here and go down to shape. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom in the shapes panel, you have all the different social media handles. So let's go ahead and kind of go with the Instagram one there. As you can see, when I click on that, the shape changes from that background box to the logo here. So I'm going to do that. And to make my job simpler, I'll just duplicate that and swap out the shape. So now I have Facebook, and we'll kind of repeat, do the same thing. Let's click on the last one there, duplicate it, bring it down some. You kind of have to, I would say, fine tune it with your keyboard arrows. That looks about even there. And scroll down. So let's go ahead and do Twitter. We'll do a couple more. This one right here will be my YouTube. My YouTube actually is a little bit different. If you search YouTube, I am Claudius. Actually, let's go ahead and do youtube.com forward slash. Click done. Let's center that a bit. And I've got one more, which will be my website here. And actually what I may do is actually we're going to grab these and bring them down using my arrow key and I'll duplicate this one here. And this one will be my website. W dot I'm Claudius. 
and we'll move this one down here adjust them a bit with the arrow key here and then really cool thing you can do is we're going to select all the text click from outside and select them all so that we can choose the align by center so that's pretty much done there maybe make this just a bit bigger easier to read and that looks pretty close there i'm actually going to make my logo a bit smaller so i can make my text bigger you want to make sure that your text is large enough so when it's printed on the card you know you've got three and a half by two inch card move it there and now before i actually save this we're going to actually again bring in that uh, file that i shared with you we're going to bring this in just to make sure that everything is within the safe zone again it's that inner colored box there so we say everything is kind of in there kind of evened out close to i can make some fine tuning but that looks just about right so now that my B side is done, I'll go ahead and download that as well as the A side and I'll send them off to get printed. Speaking of getting printed, if you're looking for someone to print your contact, go check out millerslab.com. It's a company that I use to print all of my photos, business cards, Christmas and birthday cards. They do great work and do fairly quick turnaround. So go check them out at millerslab.com. Well, I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use to create and design your own business cards. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you again for stopping by. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.